Battles have had a significant role in determining the general trajectory of world events throughout history. Since the beginning of time, armies have fought against one another to establish control, amass power, and ensure their own existence. Nowhere is this more evident than in the world's ancient past. Hello and welcome to our channel Curious Media. Here are some of the bloodiest ancient battles that changed history. The Battle of Kadesh, 1274 BCE. This conflict between the New Kingdom of Egypt under the reign of Ramses II and the Hittite Empire took place near the present-day borders of Syria and Lebanon on the banks of the Orontes River and is the first in history for which troop formations and military tactics are known. More than 2,000 chariots were destroyed in what is said to be history's largest chariot fight, which also resulted in the oldest surviving peace pact, variously referred to as the Eternal Treaty or the Silver Treaty. The Battle of Plantia, 479 BCE. The Battle of Thermopylae is one of the most well-known ancient battles thanks in no small parts to the exaggerated depictions of the conflict in movies like 300. However, it was only in a battle the following year near a small town called Plantia that the Greeks were ultimately successful in driving back the Persian forces. After establishing control over Thermopylae and achieving success in the territories beyond it, King Xerxes I of the First Persian Empire eventually made his way back to Asia. He abandoned half of his army, which was ultimately routed by a group of hoplite warriors in Plantia, bringing an end to the Persian invasion of Greece. The Siege of Syracuse, 213-212 BCE After defeating Carthage in the First Punic War, Sicily became a part of the autonomous kingdom of Syracuse, which was a close ally of the Roman Republic. In the midst of the Second Punic War, pro-Carthage groups within Syracuse brought the wrath of the Roman siege back down on the city. Archimedes, a famous polymath who lived in the city at the time, devised clever inventions to assist, defend against the Romans and extend the siege by months this time. The city did not fall until the Roman soldier assassinated Archimedes in his house, defying instructions from the Roman commander that the inventor's life be spared. The Battle of Red Cliffs, 280 E. Near the conclusion of the Han Dynasty in China, two southern warlords faced off against a numerically stronger foe from the north of what has been dubbed the largest naval battle in history. Cao Cao, a warlord from the north, claimed to have dispatched 800,000 troops to expand his territory south of the Yangtze River in what became known as the Battle of Red Cliffs. However, the southern warlords Sun Quan and Liu Bei had a considerably smaller army of roughly 50,000 soldiers. The opposing forces' leaders were skeptical of Cao Cao's claims that he had sent 800,000 reinforcements, but they believed he had dispatched more than 200,000. In any case, the southern warlords were significantly outnumbered, yet they could stave off the northern rival thanks, at least in part, to superior naval training. This bolstered the formation of two southern states, ushering in the era of China's three kingdoms. The Battle of Muye, 1046 BCE the Zhou dynasty ruled China for an unprecedented 790 years. Of course, even the most powerful dynasties had to get their start someplace. The Zhou dynasty can trace its origins back to the decisive Battle of Muye, in which a Zhou force of only about 50,000 men defeated nearly 500,000 Shang and 170,000 armed slaves. Slaves armed to protect Yin, the capital of the Shang Empire, turned on their masters and joined the Zhou, prompting many Shang troops to switch sides. Other people displayed their lack of interest in confronting the better-trained Zhou by holding their spears in an inverted position. The Conquest of Tikal, 378 CE The classical phase of the Maya civilization, which at its height spanned much of Central America between 250 and 900 CE, is generally agreed upon. Comparable to classical Greece, the area was divided into multiple city-states that were all tied together through a web of alliances and wars. Siaj Ka'ak deposed the kings of numerous major cities beginning with Tikal in 378 CE. He came from Tetihuacan, which is located about 25 miles northeast of modern-day Mexico City. Then, new leaders supported by Tetihuacan would be installed. In doing so, they created a level of domination that would last nearly the end of the Maya Empire. That was it for today's video guys, if you haven't already please like and share the video with your friends and family so that we can bring more amazing and informative videos for you guys. Until next time, take care.